drawing what I observe. It's not exact, but it represents and it gets a sensation, creates a sensation of what it is I witness. So along the top, the weave comes over like this, it goes down from there, it creates that moiré pattern. And the moiré pattern has an up and down thing, which I can do a couple of different ways. I can also do it just by very quickly giving myself a guideline with a light gray. Now, I'm going to go in and I'm going to do alternating. You know, I can do things to get that fabric pattern by doing this and using my fingerprints and it creates weave and the texture of fabric. Put it on his neck where he's got the collar. It breaks it up like that. If it's really wet, and this isn't really wet, if I go down a few, I can repeat the pattern like that. And then I have a guideline that I go in between. If it's really wet paper, it's ridiculous how well that works. It just transferred almost directly. So your paper is part of the formula of creating interesting drawings. One of the things that I really like is to have a big vocabulary of marks. So that's your marker stroke, right? Then you have overlap. So if you have overlap, you get this ribbing, but while it's still wet in the right paper, you can blend and you get rid of that ribbing. And it's really dark up against him, so I'm just gonna keep going until I can build that dark so that he stands out against the background. And then I'm just gonna work it into the rest of it so it, you know, it's a nice segue. Some people don't like those strokes, so all they gotta do is just blend the strokes in. And then while your finger's dirty, you rub the dirt on the paper, and now you get that texture. I can do that on his hair. I want ribs to go across his hair. Brush him in. 